Good evening, dear viewers. Your Surge is with you again this evening, and tonight we're having two guests here. Uh, Christian Baker, we talked to him last time, so you're pretty familiar with this wonderful guy. And next to him, we have uh, Mike Bates. He's his, his colleague, and he's from a different area in the United States. He's from upstate New York. So we're going to be able to hear some different accents tonight, and you guys will be able to compare the two, you know, how they pronounce the vowel sounds. So today's focus is on sounds oo, like in the word food, and a sound o, like in the word good. So I would like you guys to read these word pairs for practice for the sound oo. Uh, let's have uh, 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 Christian do that first, and then uh, Mike right after him. So will you, Christian, read these word pairs? Uh, sure, absolutely. Uh, here we go. Too few, fruit juice, soup spoon, new suit, true value, blue shoes, new moon, suitable suitcase, two rooms, super pool. Okay, guys, so you heard how Christian said it. Christian is, lives now in Titusville, uh, Florida, but he origina originally is from Delaware, and Mike is originally from upstate New York, but now also lives in Florida. So let's let's hear Mike say these words. Okay. We have <clears throat> too few, fruit juice, soup spoon, new suit, true value, blue shoes, new moon, suitable suitcase, two rooms, super cool. Great job, guys. I, I think you heard some, some difference in pronunciation, maybe a slight difference. I'm not going to judge it right now, just leave it up to you guys to, to judge how the, uh, where, whether there was any difference or not. And let's get to the other sound and have uh, our guests read the word pairs for the uh sound. Will you do that, Christian? Sure. Good book. Took a look. Good looking. Fully cooked. Shook his foot. Sugar cookie. Push and pull. Wool pull over. Wooden hook. And good childhood. Hey, good job. Thank you, Christian. Can Mike do the same, please? Yes. Good book. Took a look. Good looking. Fully cooked. Shook his foot. Sugar cookie. Push and pull. Wool pull over. Wooden hook, good childhood. Okay, great job, guys. Another thing I want to ask you is that I made myself some sentences with uh, these two sounds. They're they're a little bit stupid and they make no sense, but I, I just uh, made up some sentences with with these two sounds. You know, uh, so here's my logo, the logo of my community, and he, here are the sense for the sounds U and U. Uh. Can you guys read them one by one? Chris, can you start? Oh, sure. I took a look at my food on the roof. I stood on the roof with my foot. The room was full of crooks and cooks. I drank some fruit juice and ate some stew with good cookies. I put on my woolen shoes and jumped into the pool. He was in a bad mood and covered in soot. The root of the problem was that he thought he was too good to be true. Very good, Christian. Thank, thank you. I hope the viewers will appreciate my sentences or at least not laugh at them very much. And can Mike do the same? Yes. I took a look at my food on the roof. I stood on the roof with my foot. The room was full of crooks and cooks. I drank some fruit juice and ate some stew with good cookies. I put on my woolen shoes and jumped into the pool. He was in a bad mood and covered in soot. The root of the problem was that he thought he was too good to be true. Okay, great. Well done. Well, the difference that I notice here is that uh, Mike pronounced the word roof with the sound uh, roof, right? Is that the way you pronounce it, Mike? Yes, and I always get harassed by it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so th this is the... Uh, I say roof. I say roof. 
Oh, so you do you do that uh, on purpose to to no, uh, I, piss off Christian a little bit? No, actually, when I was reading this, I noticed. I mean, when I got to to soot, I said soot, like many people say. Uh, what what do they say? Root. Yeah. Instead of. Root. Well, some people that I talked to from mid from Midwest would say uh, root and roof. You know, right. some Americans that I talked to. I, I mean, from where I grew up at, it's people don't really pronounce it as roof. It's a roof. Mm -hmm. Kind of yeah. like it has a U in it. Yeah, actually, you know, this the way you say roof, it sounds almost like a short U sound, like in the word rough. Like, oh my, well, kind of like that, or at least, you know, approximately. I'm not sure what I say. What do I say? Roof? I think you said roof. And you say rough. People give me a hard time about it down here, but I think most of my northern friends say it the same way I do. So you mean in Florida, the majority of people just use the long oo sound, roof, right? Uh, roof, roof. Yes. I, 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 but you say you say roof, like roof, like soot. Yeah, kind yeah of the same very sound. similar. Yeah. And I separate them, roof and soot. It's so you, uh, so you, people can tell uh, that Mike is not from here, not from this area. Well, I mean, in reality, we were both born within the north. Yeah, the north. Yeah, yeah, we're probably within five hundred miles of each other. Yeah. We would be considered northeast. Yeah. So, well, we can. Yeah, we can consider you northeastern guys, but right now you both reside in Florida. Oh, oh. Right. Okay. Thank you. Today, our guests were Mike and Christian, and Christian has been our guest before, and for Mike, it's the first appearance in my community. So thank you guys for having read this and for talking to our viewers. Uh, this was your surge in our talk on phonetics. See you guys later. Goodbye.